uh yeah i got some some uh gameplay footage of uh microsoft flight to try out today um i did run it like one time um for like the last like hour or so i've been trying to figure it out and stuff but uh i didn't really get too far into it yo what's going on cardinal how you been man what up what up um yeah it, it, the game <laughs> it's really cool but man that performance i mean for me personally has been pretty bad and everybody else i've seen so far has been having some issues as well but that's also to be expected with a giant game like this i feel like um hopefully it, it gets sorts out, sorted out at some point though i i'm going to try i have it on a different hard drive right now i'm gonna try changing it at some point but probably not until like after today's stream i also have the game at medium settings i was running it on high but even then it's pretty laggy sometimes uh surprisingly being here in the main menu is probably one of the laggiest parts when you're actually out there flying it seems to be a little bit more stable um but anyways that's pretty much that uh what i want to do is run through some of the test trials um here because that's all new to me um i have played like i mean i have the basics down i also have this flight stick that my dad actually used for the original uh flight simulator game so uh, I figured I, I'd start out doing some of the flight training, um, just basic stuff, and then see where we go from there, uh, learning the controls, and then maybe make our own flight at some point. Uh, does it also emulate TSA? Show anything you're up your ass. <laughs> I mean, if you try hard enough, it might. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Training, get to know your uh, aircraft environment. This training session will familiarize you with the basic controls to spread your wings. It's about eight minutes. Okay, let's do it. Cessna 152, my uncle actually built himself one of these. And I did, um, or no, he didn't, he is building one. He had one and then he sold it. And he flew me, uh, my mom and my sister one time and i was the co-pilot and i was able to actually fly it for like half a second yo what up dev welcome that's people coming into chat and then leaving chat welcome welcome But anyways, uh, yeah, it's today's stream is a lot later than usual, but hey, uh, that's all right. I had an interview earlier today and it went, uh, I would say it went really well. So we'll see how that goes, uh, after I hear back, hopefully I hear back. Dreaming at that time I can actually join because I came home from work early. Nice. Perfect. We're doing piling, but I want to talk, do car talk. <laughs> so as you can see the game is a little bit laggy right here but um as it loads in it gets a little bit better so let's see how this goes here i'm trying to situate everything so that way when i hit that button we start we start off smooth or no i don't know why but like my one screen your name is like super super dark i don't know if that's just me here look see how dark it is it's like at first it was that and then now it's this dark but uh yeah who me yeah wait is it showing up no it's not even showing up what the Hold up. What? How is this possible? I have it on my screen right now, but it's not showing up. 
What? Wait, is my... Oh, that's why. Chat, it already froze. <laughs> Hold on. Hold up. And the eye already froze. It's a good thing I noticed it right now, though. GG. There it is. Okay. Hold on. Let me give it a little bit of a higher priority. We'll give it high. But yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Now you can see it. No, that was the game. That was the game frozen. Uh-huh. <laughs> this is the 2020 version. Anyways, uh, let's give this a shot. I did take off. Um, I did like a, a 10, 15 minute um, flight and it was okay. Like it was cool. Um, I actually took off from an airport that's like literally like 10, 15 minutes away from my house and I flew over my house. And it's pretty in depth, like it's neat. Um, but I think what what we'll do is I'm gonna run, try to run through all of this, and then if at that point there might be time to do like one flight or something. Um, but I, I really want to try to get as much understanding of the game as I can, and then kind of go from there. So with that, I'm gonna hit that ready to fly. Welcome to flight training. I'm your instructor, Captain Molina, but you can just call me Jess. This session will get started with some basic controls. Sound Dude, good? I bet you it is, Dev. First things first, let's get familiar with your surroundings. Don't worry. I've got the stick while you get your bearings. Out Control your side C. windows, you can see we have great visibility over Sedona today. Wow. Very pretty. Hold POV left for quick this view out is the windows. Red Rock territory. Beautiful, isn't it? Hey, Texas boys. Use left, right, up, or down to translate camera inside the cockpit. Two to reset the camera. What's two? Oh, that's two. Leg. Long of me. Close this out. Texans on Twitch. Custom save, control alt one. And control all and alt one. Stick button two. I'm pressing it. There we go. So, my God, it's so laggy. Audio. I want to turn the audio down a little bit. But yeah, Dev, you'll be surprised at how close I, uh, or how intense this game actually is. 
like when I show you the map, you'll see how many uh, airports there are. So I guarantee uh, your airport is on there, on here at least. No, you can fly everywhere. You can fly all over the world. Control Alt One. See if you can spot the Sedona Airport. The runway should be a pretty easy landmark to find. Is that it? Oh, joystick button one. Where's one? There you go. Oh. Visual confirmation on the airport. That's like your objective. Now that oh, we're oriented, nice. it's your turn. Time to fly this bird. Oh god. Hold on, chat. The Hold first on. Control on our training I'm about to fly. Yoke. Oh, shit. I still remember my first instructor saying the yoke is like a steering wheel. Almost. Sure, you can turn. But you Yo, can uh, also Jam pitch. Donkey, thank you for the, uh... For starters, oh it controls the For the ailerons. sub there, I appreciate it, man. With that Twitch Prime and for the 19 ailerons, months. They allow the plane to roll and bank into turns. Go ahead and try rolling to the right. Roll? All right. Nice. Okay, too much. Now let's see you level back out. All right, we're good, we're good. 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 Thought it was gonna be twenty this time. Of course, How's the, the game running? Also uh, controls the elevator. It's spotty. And the elevator affects the plane's pitch, right? Um, Pull it's back on the stick. It's the hit plane and miss. Starts to climb. Yeah, it's a little bit of lag. Give it a shot. But like right now, I mean, it looks fine. Pull the back. The most valuable things in aviation are speed and altitude. But I can notice move the when you're pitching oh, up, mind. your speed is decreasing. You could add more power. Or for now, let's just pitch down. Gently push forward on just the Just like yoke. that. Your speed's picking up again as the nose pitches down. As you level back out, let's talk about another control. The rudders at your feet. Rudder pedals control the aircraft's side-to-side -side movement, also known as yaw. On the ground, those pedals are going to steer the plane left Hold or top. right. Up here, they properly align us during turns. Try them out and watch the plane's nose skew to either side. Simple enough, right? Before we go on, let's bring the plane back to straight up flight. Make sure your dashboard is aligned three to four inches below the horizon for a cruise attitude. Like that. Okay, the last time thing someone we're says y'all, all I can think is South Park dick measuring thing. If you have the need for speed, then the throttle's for you. Full control over the power output of the engine. Let's see what happens when you cut all the power. Power cut. There it is. God. Surprise, surprise. Our altitude is decreasing. This might be a good time for a piloting PSA. Oh, Always keep an eye on your surroundings because nobody likes a low flying duck. Yeah, we're we're flying very All right, well right let's now. go ahead and throttle back up. To maximum. You left the training airspace, you need to go back. Whoa, okay. I'm going. All right, let's go ahead and throttle back up. There you go. Speed and you left the training airspace. You need to go back. I'm going back. I'm going back. Chill, chill, chill. There you go. Speed is increasing, and as long as we maintain the same attitude, our altitude will keep climbing too. You're really getting the hang of your ah, controls. Ah, I see. So when you use Before the trigger, long, it shows you which way you need to go. Until then, if you want help with the radio or checklists or simply flying the plane, I'll be here. You can pass me the controls when you're ready to finish your session, or keep flying. It is a great day after all. 
Delegate aircraft controls by Control Alt X. All right, I have control. Good Take job. over. I don't see her. Debriefing. Nice. Good job. Uh, okay, not bad. Next training flight, altitudes and instruments. Do you want to go to the next activity? Yes. So like I said, I would like, uh, I'm hoping to do the, this training here. And then once we finish the training, we'll do like a flight to, I don't know, somewhere. Probably, um, maybe from like East coast to like mid something like that. U S we'll see though. We'll see. Don't worry, your training structure is there to help. We're out the flight. I would hope so. New York to Texas, we could. Or we could do Philly to Texas. Depending on how long the flight is. All right, let's see, ready to fly. Instructors we're talking about currently attitudes flying. of flight, how your plane is oriented relative to the horizon. <laughs> if you look outside, you can see the cockpit is just about four inches below the horizon line. We're flying straight with a decent rate of speed. This is the cruise attitude. Let's see how it reads on your instruments. Control one. Take a look at the attitude indicator. Ah. As the name implies, it shows your current attitude. The white line is the horizon with the sky above and the ground below. Okay. That orange element in the middle aligned with the horizon, that's your plane. Just like we saw outside, our current attitude reads pretty much straight and level. Okay, now let's see how much power the engine's generating. Check oh, your tachometer. Looks like we're pushing around <laughs> 2,300 revolutions per minute. Wait, where? Combined, attitude and engine RPMs translate to aircraft performance. Where is your RPM? Which leads us to your airspeed oh, indicator. Guy. No, that's your airspeed. Now, last but not least, check your altimeter. To figure out your altitude, you always want to read the small needle first. That's how many thousands of feet up you are. Then on to the big needle for the hundreds. With our current attitude and power output, we're holding a speed of 90 knots and a stable altitude of 6,000 feet. But that's about to Two, change. Two, four, six. Take okay, I see. When you're ready. I see. All right, I'll take it. Reset the camera. Pull back slightly on the yoke to raise the nose just above the horizon line. About two inches. Okay. Make sure you don't pitch up too much, or the angle will be too steep to create lift. And without enough lift, we'll stall. All right, go full throttle and start climbing. Full throttle. Welcome to the climb attitude. Do a flip See how it shows up on, on your attitude indicator and tachometer? According to your altimeter, we're gaining altitude. Okay. But we're Good. losing airspeed even at full throttle, proving you can't avoid basic physics while making a climb. Okay, before we go on, let's get back to a cruise attitude. Okay. Ease up on the yoke and aim your nose just below the horizon. Then throttle back down to 2300 RPMs. Uh, adjust the throttle to 23. Where's throttle? Uh, wait, is it that? Oh, okay, it is. 23? So that's like right... 20... Right Ease there. up on the yoke and aim your nose just below the horizon. Then throttle back down to 2300 RPMs. 
Oh wait, 23. <laughs> I'm at 20, 20,000. Wait, am I looking at the wrong one? I'm so confused. Ease up on the yoke and aim your nose just below the horizon. Then throttle back down to 2300 RPMs. Okay, what? So... 23, where's the RPMs right here? and aim your nose just below the horizon. Then throttle back down to 2300 RPMs. Okay. I keep it right there. Oh no, you left the training space. You need to go back. All right, we have to go back. We have to go back. Hold on, chat. We're going back. Nice job. We're now set up with the same attitude and power we had at the top of our lesson. What? Next up is the descent attitude. All right, apparently I did it. Start by reducing your RPMs to 1800. Then drop the plane's nose a bit further below the horizon. How do you know where the RPMs are? I'm so confused about that. As expected, with the nose down attitude, our altitude is decreasing while our speed is yeah, picking I thought, up. Yeah, is it this thing or is it this guy? Why don't you get us back to a cruise attitude and we'll like, hit the last I see part this, of our lesson. But our RPMs are literally at like like 13 right now. Far right, that's the one. It's the times Gently pull the yoke 100, not right the times 1,000. So that, right? Yeah, that's times 100. Move yoke left or right. If you take a look outside, you can see how our attitudes changed. But you can also check your instruments for the details. As a general rule, you always want to keep your turns under 30 degrees. At the top of your attitude indicator, 30 degrees, there's got a it. series of notches representing 10 degrees each. Use them to control We're your good. roll. Notice Pilot the more of you the turn, year. the more you need to pull back on the yoke to maintain altitude. When you're rolling out, you'll need to do the opposite. Roll and push at the same time. The more you know about the main attitudes of flight, the closer you get to that pilot state of mind. So keep practicing, and whenever you're done, pass me the controls. <laughs> control Alt X. Thanks, I've got control now. Well done. Job. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. What's going on with that? <laughs> yes, we all absolutely pull some off. All right. I will say it's run. It's definitely running a little bit better now. Once you like actually load into the game, like it takes a little bit, but on medium, it runs like, okay, it's okay. Not great. You still get some frames and everything, but, uh, yeah, right now, since we're in training, right too, you don't really see like any other people you're finally able to download now. Yeah. So when you download the game and then you launch it, then it downloads like a 90 gigabyte update because it's like basically decompressing all of the stuff that you downloaded. It took forever for me. So yeah, I don't know if it's gonna be, if your uh, internet is kind of like that, Pat, I don't know if you're gonna be able to play today, but I'll probably be down to play some uh, Breakpoint in, in a little bit later if you wanna play, if you're down for it. Uh -uh. 
All right, let's hit it. Or if you get it downloaded, then we can do a flight There's together too. There's an old too. saying I like: a mile of road will take you a mile. A mile of runway will take you anywhere. Okie dokie. Taking off isn't hard, but there are a few key points to remember. First, we always take off into the wind, which won't be an issue on a calm day like today. Second, before we enter a runway, we always make sure it's clear. Parking brake, 11. Uh, wait, joystick button one. Oh, Everything okay. looks good, no cross traffic. Go ahead and look taxi into position. Left, look right. All right, the rudder taxi. pedal should make steering the plane pretty easy. All right, we'll uh, turn off your 11. Align aircraft on the center. Okay, it's gonna be a little bit laggy here. We got this. I technically did one takeoff already. Oh God. Uh, wait, what? Does align it on the center? Using joystick button five. And All right, let's do this. Nice. Apply full power, and I'll walk you through the takeoff as we go. Ready? Full power. Hold on, chat. Hold on tight. Use your rudders to stay on the center line and keep pushing power until you reach 55 knots. Good. And okay, now I see. gently pull back on the yoke. Line up the top of your instrument panel so it's a couple inches above the horizon. That'll pitch us up and set a good climb attitude. And we're airborne. Focus on Ooh. flying straight. Use your rudders to keep the runway heading of 210 degrees. Maintain 75 knots and we'll reach our target altitude of 5,500 feet in no time. Where's the height? Vertical speed? Yo, what's going on, Kura? How you doing? doing not too bad not too bad no chat while driving <laughs> no chat while flying <laughs> I think we're still going the uh, we're kind of losing it whoops Kind of let off a little bit there. Where's our altitude? Ah, 5,500 feet. A nice, safe altitude for part two of our lesson. Straight and level flight. First step here is adjusting our attitude. <laughs> Just our attitude. Everyone got positive attitudes? All right, good. We're good. Uh, I think we're good. <laughs> I just added the pog, uh, Cast this pog. When you're out of training, don't don't go to JFK with live air traffic on. Oh really? Is it a mess? Why does it sound like self-help CD? Alright, I'm gonna turn around. She's not giving me any rolls right now. She's not telling me what to do. We got this. Hold on. And nice. Wait, is there multiplayer like on online where you can see? 
Yes, Pat. So, like, there's full-on multiplayer. So there's two different <laughs> there's two different types of multiplayer. There's live, which is other players um, that are currently using the live settings, like as in live weather, live traffic, live everything. So if you have live on, it's only going to show the people using the live, like, uh, stuff. But if you do all players, then that will show all players. So that means it'll show all the live players, but then it'll also show, um, like, say if I wanted to fly from my hometown to Philadelphia or somewhere, like, if I'm doing, like, custom weather settings, something like that, that would be categor categorized under uh, all players. If I did live, like live weather, then that's considered live, um, a live player. I don't know what we're supposed to do right now. Uh, but you can also make groups, you can do group takeoffs, landings, really, really anything. And you can see up to 50 people, like live action. Um, when I do a flight, you'll see it. Uh, I'm still confused. What does she want me to do? Girl, tell me. Uh oh, what did I just do? Did I turn up? Did I cut the engine? All right, we're good. We're good. I uh, said so that. Uh, yeah, but you can fly through them. <laughs> uh, there's no collision or anything. So you can go right through them. Yeah, when I when I was taken off from Philadelphia, uh, I was in a little plane and this giant jet spawned right in front of me. My immersion. I really don't know what she wants me to do. He's not telling me. Uh oh. Overstressed the aircraft, caused critical damage. We had to restart the entire thing. tried all right let's try again there's an old saying i like a mile of road will take you a mile a mile of runway will take you anywhere where is taking off isn't hard but there are a few key points to remember vertical speed altitude First, we oh, always here we, take off here it into is. the wind which won't be an issue on a calm day like today Second, before we enter a runway, we always make sure it's clear. Everything looks good, no cross traffic. Go ahead and taxi into position. The rudder pedals should make steering the plane pretty easy. Did I turn off? Parking brake, there we go. Also, when I get this sorted out, too, we'll do some, like, third-person flying. Because I think that's where, like, honestly, the game shines. Uh, five. Where is five? I always forget where five is at. Right here. There it is. All right, let's do this. Apply full power, and I'll walk you through the takeoff as we go. Go, 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 go. All right, so maximum speed, maximum effort. Use your rudders to stay on the center line and keep pushing power until you reach 55 knots. Accelerate to 55 knots. Good. Now gently pull back on the yoke. Line gently up the top of your instrument panel so it's a couple inches above the horizon. That'll pitch us up and set a good climb attitude. And we're airborne. Focus on flying straight. Use your rudders to keep the runway heading of 210 degrees. Maintain 75 knots, and we'll reach our target altitude of 5,500 feet in no time.
Okay, so she wants me to hit 55. Climb, climb. Almost sad. 55. Almost. Almost. And. Uh, isn't that it? That should be it right there. Uh, we, I think we need to get that speed now. She wants me to be at like 75. Ah, 5,500 feet. A nice safe altitude for part two of our lesson. Straight and level flight. All right, hold on one sec. I just need to go open my door real quick.